Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. My name is Gina and this is Miss Callie Cat. You want to say hi, Miss Callie Cat? Say hi. Hi to the camera. And she just pet me. Just pet me. Just pet me. <laughs> y'all, today we have a special edit from Wannable. Now, this is their, I think, 10 year anniversary birthday edit. So there is going to be a free gift for me in there. Um, I can't remember everything that goes along with it, but if you do not know what Wannable is, it is a trap before you buy clothing subscription. They send you seven items. You have five days to try everything on. Your stylist fee will be $20, but that is credited back to you if you decide to keep anything in the box. Sometimes they run specials where you can get their edits for $5 or $10. You know, it just depends on what you can catch. So I definitely recommend signing up for their emails. If you want to try Wantable, I do have a link below. By the way, if you keep five or more items, you do get 20% off of your order. So, oh, I'm so excited to see what's in their birthday edit. I don't even have a clue, y'all. But we're going to open up the box and find out. So, fair warning, I do remember that the free gift probably will not be for everyone. I actually thought, oh, what a strange free gift. Uh, I'm not even sure I'll wear it. But we're going to find it. Hey, that's my chair and you're moving me. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, here's the box. And... We're, y'all, just wait till you see the free gift. You'll understand when you see it. <laughs> Let me grab the bundle here. Inside the box. Oop. All right. All right. That's the inside of the box right here in my hand. It says, Style for Gina. Of course, it will say your name if you subscribe. Oh, I got a hair right here in my eye line. That'll drive me crazy. Okay, did I get it? Okay. <laughs> Inside the box. I still feel like I got something right there. I wonder where it came from. Miss Cat the Cat. <laughs> Inside the box, you do have the return label. It is, or the return envelope that is pre-labeled to go back to the post office. So you put what you don't want in here, your exchanges. Take it to the post office. Don't forget to check out online before you do that. I got marker on me. I always mark out the uh, address, or I try to if I remember. I got marker on me. Oh no. So this is the limited edition style birthday edit. Wantable, wantable turns 10. Let's see what my stylist said. My stylist this month is Ashley, or this time I guess I should say. Hi, Gina. So excited you're joining in on all the birthday fun. It's a true honor to have you as our customer and a friend of Wannable. Hope you love the birthday box collection. With fall not too far away, I was mindful to send you pieces you can wear now and layer later. And your trucker hat as a free birthday gift from us. Be sure to let me know what you love and don't love at self-checkout. P.S. If you'd like to send us some 10th birthday love or photos of Wannable looks, share online using Wannable Turns 10 and tag us at Wannable. Okay. And then it has the list of all of my goodies and my free gift. The merchandise total is $415. Of course, I would get the discount if I keep five or more items, which would bring it down to $332. And you take away my styling fee and add my sales tax, which is more than my styling fee. And you'd end up with $333.84. So let's open the bundle. And then, oh my goodness, just wait till you see this hat, y'all. I saw it on the email. Oh my goodness, here we go. Okay. So here's the hat, which <laughs> I don't know. I thought was pretty funny. A trucker hat, wantable, white, black in the back. It's a true trucker hat. It does have a, um, what you call it, wood thing in there. It is by Goodland Supply Company. 
and I don't I don't want to really put it on I don't know I don't know if I could pull off a trucker hat um, I'm more of a low profile kind of hat person what do y'all think I don't know I don't know if not I'll put it in a giveaway or some you know see who who likes it somebody will wear it somewhere so next thing is this vanilla bay these shirts are so soft y'all it says it's all good it's got a little rainbow on there that's very cute so soft these shirts are just too too stinking soft oh my goodness let's see what it says vanilla bay it's all good graphic tee in gray large it's 46 dollar t-shirt probably because they're so stinking soft they're comfortable to wear it is not a v-neck and what was that it looked like there was something on it in the camera but i don't see anything in person can y'all see that huh i don't know hmm. I don't love that but i can't see it off the camera that's weird but i'm on camera a lot so i have to think about that it's 96 round for spandex hand wash cold hanger line dry hmm. 46 dollars. i don't want an imperfection in the shirt that's just weird <laughs> but it is cute let's move on is this this is thread and supply i'm still seeing so many stripes this shirt is not as soft this one is more of a textured, gosh, it almost feels itchy on my arm. Uh, blue and a rust, deep red kind of stripe going on there. This one is a V-neck. I like that. I don't always love stripes because sometimes on camera they just make you a little woozy. I don't know. I think that's a me thing. Hollow bottom. What does it say? Delta Stripe T in Americana Stripes, large $44. We'll try it on, but I'm just, I've never super loved stripes. 55 Linen, 45 Polyester. Maybe it's the linen feel that I'm feeling. I don't know. We'll see what it feels like on. My body doesn't like linen for some reason. Anybody else have that issue? So this is travel. This is cute. Cute little pops of pink and blue in there with that green and yellow. It has a little bit of a ruffle up here with the V-neck. And it is soft. This would be a cute undershirt under a blazer or something. You can dress it up to go to church. Yes, you can even put it under a flannel if you wanted. Right color. 97 round, three spandex. Hand wash cold line dry. This is the tribal ruffle neck short short. What is it? Short sleeve SL. I don't know. Blouse in wild rose large. $48. That's cute. If it if it hangs on me right, I'll pay $48 for it. What do y'all think? Do y'all like the pattern? Interesting. I think I know what this is. I don't know what this is. Okay, I thought it was a jumpsuit that I had looked at on, on their stream, but it's not. It's actually a dress a tiered dress i think it's a dress yes soft it would be cute to wear around it would be great under a denim jacket it's got the little bit of smocking in the middle there the tears i hope you don't have to iron it this is um supply and demand no address in green large it's 84 dollars this does not look like an 84 dollar dress y'all does it look like an 84 dollar dress to y'all 
made in the USA of imported fabric. 48 polyester, 36 cotton, 11 rayon, and 5 spandex. Wash cold, reshape, lay flat to dry, cool iron if needed. Hmm, I don't love that. I think it would have been cute in like a pink or even a baby blue, but I don't know that I love it in this green. That's unusual for me because I'm really, I love green. Oh, look at this one. Yellow and pink. Very feminine. This is a Hayden Los Angeles. There's a button back here. Frilly, ruffly, cute little sundress. Tiered skirt, double layer. Polyester though. Hayden Los Angeles floral print midi dress in yellow, large, originally $72. It's on sale for $36. So that's a plus. And it would be fun. And you could put a denim jacket over the top of this. Look at that little detail. That's kind of cute. On the ruffle. Underskirt, so polyester though. 100% polyester, hand wash. Uh, do not bleach. Hang to dry. I don't know. If it looks cute on. Possibility. I don't always love too much frill and femininity, which is weird, but yeah, sometimes it's just a little too much for me. I just want to show you the button. It's even got the material on it, which I think is a cute detail. All right, moving on. These are... Vervet Sienna Super High Rise Shorts. I don't know if I've ever tried a Vervet on before. I'm not even sure I've heard of this brand before. Button fly, cute shorts, cute whiskering. They look like they'll be high enough, but they may not be low enough. Because <laughs> I do like them to have a little bit of length on them. A little stretch. Vervet High Rise Button Front Short in Medium Wash Large, $58. That's not a bad price for a short. I was hoping somewhere it would tell me the inseam. Maybe three inch. Something like three. All right. I've been enjoying my shorts lately. And cut from the cloth denim. These are the Connie High Rise Fab Ab. Ankle skinny. I do get these quite often. The Connie's. Ooh. Unfinished. Look at how skinny that goes at the bottom. It, it's skinny. I do like cut from the cloth. I don't always like to pay for cut from the cloth. These are size 10. I'm a 10 to 12 depending. Um, only slight distressing on the front, which is good. I like that. I think they're cute. Once fall gets here, I'll be more into the denim and the skinnies and things. But right now, with it being hot, I've wanted really more of the looser kind of stuff. Because it's, you know, it's like 100 degrees outside. <laughs> and that's not counting the feels like temperature because of the high humidity here. As you can tell by my foggy window, I even cracked it a little bit trying to get rid of that fog. But I was also cold. Uh, hubby had it set for 70 in here. I pumped it up to 72 because I'm under a blanket. Yes, under a blanket. Connie High Rise Ankle Skinny in Sha says $10.99. $10 this is why I normally don't keep them because I don't want to pay $99 for them. And if you keep a close eye out at Marshall, you can find that brand for a lot less money. Uh, I learned that tip from y'all. And I think I found some actually. I haven't watched lately anyway so what do you think of their birthday box and the trucker hat i mean i could see it being fun to wear but i think i would get a lot of weird books <laughs> i don't know it's nice that they gave a free gift though i'm not knocking the free gift uh, um i'm just saying i don't know how to wear it bruce city 10 year anniversary retro trucker hat in white and black 
So y'all comment below. Let me know what you thought of this box. I'm not sure they nailed me. Um, I think, yeah, there's layering pieces like she said. I'm interested in a couple of them. Don't really want to pray the price for a couple other ones, even though it's kind of their going price. So I feel like they're not charging too much extra, even though you can find, you know, off season clothes and, you know, years past clothes, you know, what do they call that? Um, like last season's clothes, last year's clothes kind of things at Marshall's places like that for less money. I don't know, but I would appreciate it. If you comment below, let me know what you think. I'd love it. If while you were down there, you'd give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to press the notification bell after you have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, it is free to do so. And I really do appreciate it. And don't forget to tell your friends about the channel. Share with your friends. Let's share the love. Speaking of share the love, if you do ever want to donate to the cause, to my channel, to help me get my new filming room set up, there is a super thanks button down there where you can leave kind of like a tip. It helps me get a commission for making these videos. And I do appreciate it if you leave anything for me. Thank you so very much. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today and try these clothes on. I'll see you back in a second. So here is the outfit of the day. I'm wearing the Skies Are Blue Top I got from Stitch Fix and these Jack Jeans I got from Amazon. My jewelry, these earrings, <laughs> sorry Callie, you got a ball. She's playing. My jewelry is from Rock's Box. So let's try on some clothes before the kitty gets my attention again. <laughs> You silly girl. There she goes. <laughs> oh, if y'all can only see. So wrinkles aside, this is a cute top. Um, the only thing is I'd have to figure out what I was going to do about the wrinkles considering I don't iron. That's a tag. What is that? <laughs> I think it's soft. It's comfortable. It's cute. It has a little personality to it with the ruffles up top, but don't rub too high. So this one is maybe a possibility. What do we think? The only thing is the wrinkles. Tuck it. I think it's cute. The pants, on the other hand, let me tell you, put these pants on. They are tight, and they're so tight here that they're making the muffin stick out up here. Um, but it does make it not have any gapping issues up here. It's like this top band that goes all the way around is not stretchy at all. And I can see how that would be good for people who have a waist like me that does go in a little bit, and there's no gapping back here but it does make the muffin stick out a little bit. Um, and when I put them on, because there's so much distressing down here, I got my toes caught in those. Don't always love that, but they do look really cute on, but I don't think I'll pay for them. What do we think y'all? Make of the next outfit. So here's the next outfit and it's perfectly fine. Um, the jeans, the shorts fits, but I almost think I would, if I was going to keep them, I might want to just go up a size simply so they would have more of the comfort factor. These are just, I mean, they fit, but they would, I think they would make that stick out. That's my only issue. They need to be up higher. See my belly buttons right here. You know, I like mine to come up a little higher just to hide that muffin a little more. The top is very comfortable. It just really really comfortable top it's really cute it fits really good no issue with the arms i mean this is a perfectly good outfit except for the fact that with the buttons i missed a button and i had to go back and button the button <laughs> um i don't even feel like they're riding up too much of course the more they walked that might be a problem but they're cute i don't know i have to think on them let me try that other top on. So this is the Americana Linen Blend Top. 
and I still, I don't like the way it feels. Um, it just, it gives that little bit of a scratchy feel to it. And I've noticed it up here on my shoulders and my arms more than anywhere. But I, I wouldn't want to wear something that felt this scratchy. But if you don't mind that, it's super cute. It looks good on. All right, let's go to the dresses. I think this one has good qualities and bad qualities. I think it's flattering, but it looks like you have a shirt on that's cinched with the skirt out the bottom, just the way it's made. This one doesn't have as much ruffling as the bottom does. And the bad is it's super, super short. I couldn't bend over in this thing, y'all. Uh, I don't think people could be bend over at all. <laughs> and sitting down, I'd be nervous of too. It almost feels like it's even shorter on the sides than it is in the front and the back, which would give you a cute little leg, but it's not sensible for me. It's comfortable. It's cute. It's just, it's not me. And I don't want to pay this much for it because I think you could get the exact same thing somewhere else and pay a fraction of the cost, but it is cute. Callie, you're so silly. So here's the last dress and it is cute, but it is uncomfortable through here because it's too tight for this big padded push-up bra I'm wearing. Um, maybe if I wasn't wearing a push-up bra, but I don't love it still. It just seems like it's crooked. I don't know if that's just me. I didn't even button the button in the back because I wasn't even going to attempt to do that. I think it's perfectly fine. And now the slip in the bottom is shorter. So you have a little bit of an airy look down the bottom. It's cute. It's just not for me. Maybe if I didn't wear a padded bra, wouldn't have so much trouble. But yeah, I can't do it. It's pulling over here. <laughs> this is after here. <laughs> it's just not working. I got to take it off. All right, y'all. We are back. Miss Kelly is back in my lap. It didn't take me but a second for sitting down before she was back in my lap. <sighs> I'm not sure what to do about this box. Now, I know this dress isn't going to work for me. It's so depressing that some of these dresses that I think would be super cute and great value, and they don't work for me because of this. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You gotta keep going. This one I just don't think is worth the price. I mean, of course it's too short for me anyway. So I couldn't keep it and wear it, not without putting leggings or something underneath it. I would have to do that because I just could not feel that comfortable with something like that. So it's it's gonna go back. We're not even gonna discuss it anymore. This also is gonna go back simply because it was just too itchy feeling for my sensitive skin. You don't have sensitive skin if stuff doesn't bother you that way. This would make a great shirt, but that's not me. I'm tempted to keep this one. It's cute. I just have to figure out what I would do about the wrinklies. It would line dry. I don't know. I may send it back and just not worry with it because I would be worried about the wrinkles. It is pretty wrinkled. And because I don't iron, if I would just not be lazy and actually iron, I would have a, a lot better selection of clothing. But probably just going to send it back. These shorts are nice. I just don't need another pair of shorts. But if I don't keep anything else, they're a possibility. These pants, I'm not going to keep. This top band, it just felt like it was a little too snug. Maybe if I went up to a 12, that wouldn't be a problem, but I just, I don't need pants right now bad enough to worry about it, especially for what was it, $100? Yeah, $100, not gonna worry with it. This shirt is really soft, really comfortable, really nice. How much was it? It's $46, and the shorts were 58. I don't know, I may keep this shirt and send the shorts back. Not that I really need another shirt either, but that that's my option. I'm either gonna keep this shirt or I'm gonna keep the shorts. What do y'all think? What should I do? Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence and part of me just wants to send it all back and eat the 20 
and not worry about it because there's nothing in here I absolutely have to have to have. And of course I'm gonna keep the hat because it was a free gift. So uh, let me know what you think of the hat. Should I be brave and wear the hat or should I find it a new home? What do y'all think? Comment below, let me know. I love to hear y'all's opinions. I don't always have time to answer everyone, but I do read them. Uh, unless for some reason YouTube hides it from me, which has been known to happen. Uh, I'll try to at least give you a like or something to let you know I'm reading them. But yeah, I always love to hear y'all's opinions. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing and try on from Wannable. Happy 10th anniversary, Wannable. Thank you so much for sending me fun clothes to try on. Y'all, I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.